Hari Shukla will be among those at the front of the queue to be vaccinated against COVID-19. The racial equality campaigner from Newcastle upon Tyne in North East England says it's a relief. I received a telephone call. I was very excited. I feel, you know, that uh, it's good, you know, that uh, I've got the opportunity of doing that. And so I'm not nervous or, or anything like that. I'm looking forward to it. Final preparations are underway ahead of the largest vaccination programme in British history. Batches of the Pfizer-BioNTech drug approved for use in the UK last week have been arriving from Pfizer's factory in Belgium. The logistical challenge is immense. The vaccine needs to be kept at around minus 70 degrees Celsius. I think we've got everything we need now. In England, 50 hospitals with facilities to store the super-chilled drug will be the first to administer it. Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland will also begin similar programmes in hospitals on Tuesday. It's the beginning of the end of this pandemic. We're not there yet. It's so important that people keep doing the things we know we need to do, following the rules and the basics to make sure we keep this under control. But we can now see the light at the end of the tunnel. The government's ordered 40 million doses so far. An initial 800,000 will be available in the first round of treatment this week, capable of inoculating 400,000 people with two injections 21 days apart. This is one of several London hospitals that will begin vaccinating this week because initial supplies are limited. Those at the front of the line will be elderly people currently receiving treatment in hospital. Many others over the age of 80 have also been contacted to come forward and get their jabs. And care workers who look after the elderly have also been prioritised. If there are any doses left, they'll go to health care workers at serious risk of contracting the virus. Immunity starts to build after the first dose, but becomes fully effective a week after the second. In later phases of the rollout, boxes of the vaccine that come in packs of almost a 1,000 doses will be split up, shared around the country and defrosted. The vaccine can be stored at normal fridge temperature, but only for a few days. As well as the logistical challenges, the government's also hoping to build public trust in a vaccine developed and approved at record speed. We do not consent. In the wake of the pandemic, conspiracy beliefs have gained ground. A sizable minority of anti-vaccination demonstrators believe the pandemic was fabricated by government and the vaccine's designed to insert people with microchips. I don't want to be vaccinated. I want to be free. I want to live my life. According to researchers at Oxford University, up to a quarter of the population could be entertaining such ideas. British scientists say stringent checks have been carried out to ensure the vaccine's safety and effectiveness. The UK is setting the pace for many other countries. What happens here could be a game-changer in the global campaign against coronavirus. Eve Barker, Al Jazeera, London.